Right, Honda CB125F. I recently bought one of these from a young lad who managed to run it out of oil and uh, basically blow up the engine, put a hole in the piston, lots of smoke, lots of drama, bike's dead. It's uh, beyond economical repair, as they say here, because if you take it to the shop, they want, you know, a lot, a lot of money to, to fix it, so it's not really worth it. But if you do it yourself, uh, obviously you can save a lot of money because the parts aren't that expensive. So today I want to introduce uh, a series of videos that I never really intended to make. I pretty much did the, the video or shot the footage to try and help me to put the engine back together because I knew there'd be a gap between taking it all to pieces and uh, waiting for parts to arrive, waiting for machining and then putting it all back together. For me, being a bit of an old duffer, I forget shit. So there's a good chance that I'll forget what I've done and the book doesn't always tell you every step. So it's good to have your own photographs and your own videos. And I urge anyone who's working on anything, always take photographs and shoot videos if you can. But hopefully it will help you if you're doing it and you're a bit stuck or you can't quite remember what was going off. You can at least have a look at some of this footage to see if yours is the same or not. Right, here it is, a 2020 Honda CB125F. And this is the amount of oil I got out of it. Mm. About 150 millilitres out of uh, one litre or so it should have. And there's the hole in the piston. And here's a better look at the bore. You can see a, a ring about a quarter of the way down where that arrow is pointing. And I think that's where the piston seized and was stuck. And here you can see the scores on the cylinder wall as well, where the piston was basically scraping the sides of the cylinder. And here's the cylinder head. Um, I'm going to do a quick test to see if the valves are holding uh, pressure or leaking. And you do that by pouring some solvent, I think this is red spirit, into the combustion chamber there. And then leave it for a few minutes and see if it disappears. And then you need to check either side of the cylinder head to see which side is wet. And that tells you which valve is uh, leaking, whether it's the exhaust side or the inlet side. Right, I think that'll do for this introductory video. And I'll see you in the next one when we get the engine out of frame and on the bench. Right, thanks for watching. And if you found that useful or interesting, you know what to do. See you in the next one.